Emergency alert. The UK government will be testing the emergency alert system on Sunday, 7th of September, 2025, at 3 p.m. Stay tuned for further instructions. The emergency alert system is an important tool for reaching the public in an emergency situation. However, some people may be in danger if a concealed phone starts ringing. Hello, my name is Anthony and my job is to help people living with sight loss get the most out of technology. In this video, I'll show you how to turn off the emergency alerts using the voiceover screen reader. So what's happening? On Sunday the 7th of September at 3pm, the UK government will test the emergency alert system. This system warns you via your mobile phone or tablet if there's a life-threatening emergency nearby. The test will be sent to all compatible 4G and 5G mobile phones and tablets across the UK. You will hear a loud siren like sound, your phone will vibrate and a message will appear on the screen confirming that this is a test. The sound and vibration will last for about 10 seconds and you don't need to take any further action. Even if your phone is in silent mode or you've got the volume turned down, you will still hear the alert. Depending upon your phone's features, the alert will work with screen magnification software. And if you use a screen reader, it should read the message out to you, having overridden the volume settings. The unique noise emitted by the phone should also be audible to those who use a hearing aid. Opting out. You don't need to do anything to receive these alerts. The alert is sent to the mobile phone masts and these masks then forward them onto every mobile phone in the area. This means alerts can either be national or very local, such as a flood warning for a local river. However, some people may be in danger if the alert sounds and it results in a concealed mobile phone being discovered. You should think very carefully about opting out, as it may mean you miss out on information that could save your life or those around you. So to opt out of receiving emergency notifications, first we need to go into settings. Settings. So I select settings and then I double tap to open it. Settings. Now I'm going to swipe right with one finger to enter the search box. Search, search field. And I'm going to double tap to start editing. Search field, search field is editing. Search, character mode, insertion point at start. So now I'm going to type in notifications. Kevin, Kevin, oh. And now I come down to the space bar. Space. And if I move to the right, I'll land on the search button. Search. So I double tap to select search. Search. Notifications. Search field. Now I'm going to swipe to the right with one finger until I hear notifications. Cancel button. Notifications button. And I'm going to double tap to enter notifications. Display as heading. The option I want is right at the bottom of a very long menu. So to quickly get there, I'm going to tap once with four fingers to get down to the bottom. Severe alerts. Switch button on. Double tap to toggle setting. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to swipe to the left with one finger until I hear emergency alerts. Extreme alerts. Emergency alerts. Heading. I'm in the UK, so my phone says emergency alerts. In other countries, it may say government alerts or it may say something different. 
I have two options, extreme alerts and severe alerts. Depending on what country you're in, you may have less or more. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to swipe once to the right with one finger to select extreme alerts. Extreme alerts, switch button on. Now I'm going to double tap to turn that off. off. Now I'm going to swipe right again to select severe alerts. Severe alerts, switch button on. And I'm going to double tap to turn that off. off. Once I've done that, I can come up to the top left hand corner of my phone and select back. Settings, back button. And I just double tap. Notifications, button. And now if I swipe up from the bottom of my screen, that will take me back to the home menu. We do hope you found this video helpful. If so, please hit the like button and let YouTube know that it's a good video and more people should see it. Here's a video that YouTube thinks you may enjoy next.